I got my master's degree in printmaking in 2000. It's definitely one of my passions. It's um, something that I have a voice in and I want to do with a lot of my time. It's uh, something I'm putting on the back burner in some respects, although it eats at me every day that I don't do it. I think about it a lot and I, I have ideas and I journal them and I haven't actually put in the hard work necessary since this band thing has started happening. It's been more of the focus of my energy. In terms of creative endeavors, I don't believe you can do multiples. I think in order to do it right, you have to commit. You have to commit. What well, we've come to realize as a group also is that um, we need different equipment in order to do the sound we want. And that just takes time and money. We just recently got the piano sound dialed in a little better. And Mr. Hawkins is looking at making his, his bass rig a little easier to carry around. Yeah. Right? I did go check out their selection. I'd like to go check out the one in the uh, southeast. That's the one I went to. Yeah? It, it's way better. Because the one, yeah, in Alberta, for certain things, it's just can't really beat the one in southeast. Well, we can do whatever we want. That's what's, that's the kind of mindset I want to have. Yeah. Really? Want some ginger? Raw ginger. Tell me. Wow. No, thank you. We've been talking about getting a percussionist, but I feel like we've still got to kind of solidify exactly what we're doing and like do a little more writing before we're really ready. We don't want to be trying to crank out these songs to find somebody to jam with right now. What we need to do is like continue working on the songs. Yeah, I think we all recognize that it would definitely add something. Absolutely. But at the same time, it's not where we are. It's yeah, not. yeah. Hey there. One, two, three, four. It was like a little scary for me at one point just because everything was all originals, all brand new music that we were doing and um, there were still songs up until the night before that we were still working out arrangements for the parts. We, I mean, we busted ass and we did it and it, it, it ended up working out, but the thing working with groups, if someone brings in a song, because we had three songwriters, so if someone brings in a song, well, you know, there's a good chance that song is going to get deconstructed, it's going to get broken down, and it's going to be reassembled into something else. Derek, will you play on the guitar, the, the, the pattern, the vocal pattern, the first pattern? Yeah. No, not the, the G and the, the whole thing, I just want to watch your hands. As usual for Blues, we were on top of our game. There was no way that we could fail. Yeah, 
Yeah, well, I mean, it was exciting. Like, it wasn't nerves at all, you know? It was just about just pure adrenaline, just really being into it. I mean, it was great watching Hawkins and how much he was dancing around and how much people around were just into it and attentive and listening and right up front with us. Uh oh I always write from personal experience. Like there's a couple songs that I don't play out too much just because it gives a situation front to back of what happened and it was, uh, it's like, well, shit, that's not something I want everybody knowing. I guess I've been realizing the impact of my words and like if people are watching you play music it shows they have interest in what you're doing and obviously they're going to be listening to you and the message that you're putting out there and oftentimes it was like well it's the painful songs that you felt the most and you got into and most music comes out of struggle if not pain. I'm a bartender and sometimes I come home god awful hours in the morning and I wake up alone and I'm like, you, you won't believe what happened tonight. She's like, uh, no. It really disturbed souls coming into the bar that I was working at. And I woke up the next morning like in tears, just like bawling. And uh, this is basically what came out. Album, <laughs> getting this album done. Right, that second to last note that you hit, you drop back down to. So it's bum, 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 bum. Okay. This is my first full album. It's very exciting because I've been writing music since I was like 13 years old, 14 years old. I started just playing as loud as I could on a little shitty Washburn Lion series. Just cranking that up as loud as I could go and playing smoke on the water. There will come a day when I don't work late and you see my face and I burn. Pray as you're straying from this day as you find yourself alone. Say as you want to light the way, you want to keep these fires burning. trying to put together a means to promote myself and also have things to sell uh, at shows. I figured between this album, having a live album recorded here in the studio, and having a DVD of a show of mine, merch, it'd be really nice to have some merch. I'm like working my ass off right now making sure my wife gets through nursing school. And when she's done, she's like, you can have a couple years and do whatever you want. Whether that's go back to school or start a business or rock the nation. <laughs> I choose to rock the nation. <laughs>
like every time I leave my house, there's a few more crazies out. And no, I can't spare you any change. But I buy you a drink if you make me think for 50 minutes that there's something more to this life than this vice we hide behind these doors. But I saw his eyes light up when I said drink, and I knew that this man wasn't free. Hey, partner, what'll it be? said something to me, he said, I guess as long as we're in the skin, we're in, we'll be a slave to something, so I so about his salvation, plus a dollar fifty tip, he said, I'll freeze a bird, I said, enjoy the trip. Thank <laughs> you.